We're a fundraising organization based on events. And it involves the community. The community supports our mission by attending the events and participating either as a sponsor, as a participant, a, a donor. The Dinner Ball has covered 26 years of, of just outstanding people who have been excellent in their profession and then given their time to us to help us raise money. So those are the kind of people that don't have to do things that they do, but out of their generosity they come and help us and it's worked out well for us. I think the Lombardi name is synonymous with excellence, with high standards, with winning. I think Bart and Cherry Starr are our honorary chairpersons. I think they have that same very high standard and when Bart calls you, you pay attention. And, and I think the quality of our organization and the quality of the events that we do, we work hard at, at doing that and I think that those, those type of people recognize that. And, and join us and, and give of themselves. Coach Mike Sherman used to come when he was coach of the Green Bay Packers, used to come here and visit the hospital, the patients in the hospital. One year he came and this patient, unbeknownst to me or to coach, was quite ill. And he went to visit him and, and his name was John. He was very excited and he would put his hospital chair here and he had another chair right across from him empty waiting for Coach Sherman. And got there, sat down, um, he didn't want his hospital gown on, he just put on his uh, a, a Green Bay Packer polo shirt and his IV trolley, he had all kinds of Green Bay Packer paraphernalia, memorabilia hanging off. And so they talked and, and he was just thrilled. What we didn't know is how really sick he was. Well, would you like to have your picture taken with, with Coach before he leaves? John says, oh sure. And put his arms on the chair and stood up by himself so he could stand next to Coach Sherman. Well, the nurses in the back of the room were just surprised because he should never have had the strength to stand up on his own. He didn't have the strength to do much of anything on his own. He had terminal cancer. So when he stood up, he had his picture taken, he laughed, he joked, and after Coach Sherman left, he, he was pretty tired. That, that tired him out. That was probably the highlight of his life. And um, we have a, an Aurora photographer, and, I, and this time we got the picture over to him and he put it on the side of his bed. And if I recall correctly, this was a couple, day, a couple years ago, um, he died the next day. But the happiest day of his life and all that he went through was that day before with Coach Sherman. Um, I see the, the future of the foundation is to continue to raise um, funds as, as much as we can with as much help from volunteers and, and, and donors and, and people who are committed to our cause. We would be proud to give that to Aurora Healthcare and the cancer program to advance research, patient care, education, all surrounding cancer.